Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift, and that's why we call it the present. <laughs> So in today's video, we are doing a how to romanticize your life slash be the main character. If you don't know what that means, there's like a TikTok trend. I like to interpret it as kind of like becoming the best version of yourself and focusing on you and only you. I feel like for a while I was putting like everyone else ahead of me. Everything else felt like more of a priority than like myself, but that's not how it is anymore. Like I've made myself the priority and it feels really good. <laughs> My first tip is stop waiting for other people to do things that you wanna do because I've been getting a lot more used to like being alone and doing things alone. Like I used to be afraid to go to the gym alone like cause you know, I've gained weight. I don't know, it's just intimidating, but I was tired of waiting on my friends to like wanna go to the gym. I'm like, I wanna go, so I'm gonna go. So I did and I fell in love with going to the gym and like going alone actually. Like I obviously still love to go with my friends like whenever they can, but it's nice to not be waiting on people because this is your life and honestly waiting on other people, you're just always gonna be waiting to do things. So why not just do it yourself? I feel like going to the gym alone and going on like walks and hikes alone has really, I found a newfound freedom in being alone and it honestly feels really good. My tip number two is, well, let's start this off with a quote, shall we? So there's this quote and I really love it. You might have heard of it before. It's a popular quote, but it goes, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. And that's why we call it the present. <laughs> I just, that sounds cheesy, but like, I don't know. I I just think that's so important to like, realize how special like this moment is. Like just basically taking time to appreciate your blessings and everything you have. And even if you're not where you wanna be, just being thankful for what you do have. And just basically living in the moment as much as you can, taking a lot of pictures or whatever you wanna do to document the memories basically just living in the moment as much as you can and being mindful and you know when you're with people not like being on your phone the whole time or whatever like really appreciating every moment and not taking anything for granted my third tip to romanticize your life is take extra time for the little things whether that's like making your bed or making a cute breakfast which i tried to make a cute breakfast today but as you can see, it didn't come out so cute. Here's what it was supposed to look like because I don't know, the ketchup just went everywhere. Or even just having a skincare routine, like just a face wash and moisturizer. I personally like to do serum, eye cream, sunscreen, like everything, but you know, whatever that means to you, skincare and just taking care of yourself. So I think just taking extra time for the little things and also appreciating the little things like the fact that I get to live in this room and I love my room, like pretty much my sanctuary. My fourth tip is to visualize yourself as the person you want to be and then work every day to become that person and also to stop comparing yourself to others because that's just like not good ever. I feel like it's good to think about your future self and what your future self will be doing but don't think about it like you know like oh this girl on Instagram is going to the gym every day like I wish I can do that instead of saying like I wish I could do that go to the gym. It sounds really simple and I know it's not that simple but basically just focusing on your future self and achieving whatever goals or dreams you have and just taking steps every day to achieve that goal so you know not just with the gym but for example whether it's like starting a business and you know putting work in every day to that business or with school like studying every day so you can graduate like doing things instead of being like i want this it's like what can i do to get this if that makes sense. So what really helps me with this is like writing in my journal, manifesting. I'm still kind of new to manifesting, but I've been getting like really into that and watching a lot of videos on it, doing my research because I don't know, it sounds life changing and I've always wanted to do it. And 
I have been doing it a little bit, but I'm really trying to like get into it. So for this, I think having a journal is so important. I like to manifest and journal and I'm still kind of new to manifesting, but I really love it and I love the idea behind it and just trusting in God and the universe that whatever is meant for you will come and if you really want something, if you write it down, work really hard for it, speak it into existence, then it can happen for you. My fifth tip is to show up for yourself every day. So whether that's putting on perfume and jewelry, even though you're staying in the house or, you know, doing your full hair and makeup, whatever that means to you. This is like pretty typical for me, just doing my hair and then like this makeup routine. You know, obviously you don't have to do that every day if you're like having a lazy day or whatever, but these are just things that help me like if I'm feeling down to romanticize my life and feel like the main character and Honestly, you can do this stuff every day because that's gonna really help. Personally, when I do my hair and makeup and like put on a cute outfit, I feel a whole lot better about myself. I just think it's so important to show up for yourself even if, you know, you're not going anywhere. Like, it doesn't matter that you're not seeing anyone because you're showing up for yourself. My sixth tip is to make a playlist that makes you feel like the main character. So music is like my favorite thing ever especially over the past year i don't know why i've been like so obsessed with music whether it's sad music or happy music or dance music or whatever like country rap i just love music whether it's like going for a drive in the car and listening to my playlist or you know working out and listening to a playlist there like i have so many different playlists for like every different mood or whatever I'm in. I really love Spotify, that's what I use. I have premium because I don't like ads. <laughs> I feel like that's a bummer if you're like trying to vibe and then an ad comes on, it's just like, I don't, I don't wanna hear you. Like, that's why I never listen to the radio in the car. I always have like my phone connected because I hate hearing like ads, but anyways. All right guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope it helped you in some way. You are the main character, yes, you the one watching this i know you're like oh she's talking to a group of people but like no you you are the main character and we gotta start acting like it so i love you guys so 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 much and i hope to see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>